ولا تتمنوا ما فضل الله به بعضكم على بعض للرجال نصيب مما كسبوا مما اكتسبوا وللنساء نصيب مما اكتسبوا for men there is the portion from their own earnings and in the same way women will get and deserve what they have earned but the earning here doesn't mean you know what what money you have earned how many dollars you have earned the earning in quran is mostly for the good deeds or the bad deeds you are earning good deeds for you you are earning bad deeds for you what does it say what does it mean as far as the moral level is concerned men and women are absolutely equal the moral position now the honor human honor human dignity human respect equally shared by men and women moral morality equally shared by women and men but you know in this society in this social order in the institution of a family now one has to be put over the other someone has to head the family there cannot be two heads of an institution the institution has to have one on the top so that is actually the subject being discussed here as far as the moral attitudes are concerned you are earning for yourself and he she is earning for herself the good deeds the virtues that she has earned well they she will get the reward in the hereafter and the virtues and the good deeds that you have earned you will get the reward in the hereafter wala tatamanna ma faddala allah bihi ba'dakum ala ba'd lil rijal naseebu mimma iktasabu wal nisa'i naseebu mimma iktasabu wasalu allah min fadlihi you ask allah from his bounty if you see that allah has given someone something more than you you ask allah he will compensate you in some other way maybe he gives you something or else so you ask wasalu allah min fadli inna allah kana bi kulli shay'in alima verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything wa li kullin ja'alna mawaliya mimma taraka al walidani wal aqrabun now this is another appendix we may call to the law of inheritance again you know reminder and for everyone we have fixed the inheritors from whatever is left by the parents or the relatives to everyone we have appointed heirs of that which parents and near relatives leave وَالَّذِينَ عَقَلَتْ أَيْمَانُكُمْ As for those with whom you have some treaties, you have some, you know, friendship, bounds of friendship, فَعَتُوهُمْ نَسِيبَهُمْ You can give them whatever you like. You, give, you can give them their share, their portion. But during your lifetime, they can't inherit. And also, if you want to make a bequest, a wasiya you can make up to one third of your total property not more than that but you know the strangers your friends maybe howsoever dear they are to you they cannot inherit they will not be the inheritors inheritance will go to the to the relatives about which allah subhanahu wa taala has fixed their portions and their shares inna allah kana bi ala kulli shay'in shahida verily allah subhanahu wa taala is a witness over everything